Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Microsoft Defender antivirus policy with Intune. Microsoft included Defender antivirus by default in Windows 10, Windows 11 and Windows servers. This security component can be managed by group policies, PowerShell or the settings app. Defender for Endpoint, which requires a monthly subscription, is the only option for reporting and monitoring functions. As an alternative, we can accomplish this using Intune. Intune Endpoint Security Antivirus Policies can help security admins focus on managing the discrete group of antivirus settings for managed devices. Antivirus policy includes several profiles. Each profile contains only the settings that are relevant for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Antivirus, for macOS and Windows devices, or for the user experience in the Windows Security app on Windows devices. Antivirus policies include the same settings as found in endpoint protection or device restriction templates for device configuration policy. However, those policy types include additional categories of settings that are unrelated to antivirus. The additional settings can complicate the task of configuring antivirus workload. So in this video, we will take a look at the steps to manage antivirus settings with endpoint security policies in Microsoft Intune. First of all, we need to sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Groups. We have created one test device group with the name Test Win Client. Click on Test Win Client. Under Manage, click on Members. We can see we have Lab Win 10 CLI01 and Lab Win 10 CLI02 device listed as a member to this group. Click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, Click on Antivirus. Click on Create Policy Plus icon. Then select Windows 10, Windows 11 and Windows Server as a platform. From the drop-down, select Microsoft Defender Antivirus as a profile type. Click on Create. Type a meaningful name for this antivirus policy. We will give a name, Taste Microsoft Defender Antivirus Policy for Windows Devices. Type a description for this policy, uh, which is optional. Click Next to continue. Here we will see a list of options for configuring Microsoft Defender Antivirus. You have to configure these settings as dictated by your organization or your security team. Since this is a test environment, we will configure few settings as a starting point. To keep this video simple, I am not going to explain each settings. But if you want to know more about each settings, uh, click here and click on learn more. This will open new web page. On this page, you can read detailed information about each settings and their options. You can see all options are here, allow archive scanning, allow behavior monitoring, allow cloud protection, etc. So here we have a detailed information about each settings and their related options. Close the web page. Uh, let me configure certain policies which we can test on our Windows 10 device. For allow archive scanning, we will select allowed scan the archive files. 
for cloud protection we will select allowed turn on cloud protection for email scanning we will also select allowed turns on email scanning we will select allowed scan removable drives option for allow full scan removable drive scanning for allow intrusion prevention system we will select allowed option we will select allowed for allow scanning of all downloaded files and attachment setting for allow real time monitoring we will select allow option next we are going to configure pua protection real time scanning direction and on access protection okay here we have those settings pua protection will be on for real time scan direction we will select monitor all files by directional uh, let me scroll down again for allow on access protection we will select allowed for testing purpose we have configured some settings in this policy you can configure this as per your organization requirement click next to continue we will go with default scope click next to continue on assignments page click on add groups to add our test device group here we will select our test device group name test win client click on select we have two devices in our test group click next review your selection when you are ready click on create to create antivirus policy with configured settings we can see the message policy test microsoft defender antivirus policy for windows devices created successfully to test this policy result let's go to a windows 10 device first we will perform the manual sync with intune some antivirus policy settings support policy merge policy merge helps avoid conflicts when multiple policies apply to the same devices and configure the same settings intune evaluates the settings that policy merge supports for each user or device as taken from all applicable policies those settings are then merged into a single superset of policy for example you create three separate antivirus policies that define different antivirus file path exclusions eventually all three policies are assigned to the same user because the microsoft defender file path exclusion csp supports policy merge intune evaluates and combines the file exclusions from all applicable policies for the user the exclusions are added to a superset and the single list of exclusions is delivered to the user's devices when policy merge isn't supported for a setting a conflict can occur conflicts can result in the user a device not receiving any policy for the setting when processed separately policy conflicts are resolved in three steps step 1 the most secure policy applies step 2 if two policies are equally secure the last modified policy will apply step 3 if the last modified policy can't resolve the conflict no policy is delivered to the device this is how intune is going to resolve the conflict we can see sync has been completed successfully now let's check the settings in windows security app search for windows security click on windows security click on virus and threat protection on the virus and threat protection settings click on manage settings 
Once you have the policy assigned to your users, they will notice that some settings are managed by your administrator message in the Windows Security app. Now, user is not able to change these settings since we have applied those settings from Intune using antivirus policy. So here we can see user is not able to turn off real-time protection or cloud delivery protection. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. But before we go there, let me initiate the sync one more time. Click on our policy name. Click on view report. We can see the success check-in status for our Windows 10 devices, lab win 10 cli01 and lab win 10 cli02. This means the antivirus policy has been successfully applied to our test devices. That's all for this video on how to configure Microsoft Defender antivirus policy with Intune using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.